I'm Greg Zanis, inventor of DreamCar123.com. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about one part of the project, that's the tunnels. In order for you to see this entire project, please subscribe to our videos. There's so very many of them. Here on my right, you'll see a tunnel that the, you've seen before and that the car goes up and down the tunnel and of course this is a model but it would go at very fast speeds up and down the tunnel system. Everywhere in this room you'll see more of the tunnel. If you look in this painting, we call this painting New Chicago. You'll see the cars again in the tunnel system. There's 168 cars in this painting. What they do is they go from Chicago all the way out to St. Louis in about one and a half hours at 200 miles an hour. This particular model doesn't show the detail of the tunnel as we are showing you in this model here to my left. What you see here are evenly spaced a glass dividers all the way down the tunnel system. These could be anywhere from 30 to 50 feet apart. And inside of this particular model, there will be cars going in both directions. Basically, you'll be able to see where you're going. Your, your body will be above the solid part and you'll be able to view where you're going. If you look on this painting here, this painting is clearly on the planet Mars. And what it shows, again, is the cars going through the tunnel system all the way from one side of the planet to the other side of the planet and back again. And here they're crisscrossing. They're going all the way from one side of the planet all the way back to the other side of the planet. Over here is an actual map of Mars. And in this area here is called Valley Marineris. We're going to show you a video where this particular tunnel is actually on this planet. And over here, you'll see In June of 2000, we discovered potentially our most extraordinary artifact. This mile long several hundred foot wide structure with translucent exterior, a brilliant sun glint, and evenly spaced ribs that looks for all the world like an artificially constructed glass tunnel, which some have termed, like Arthur Clarke, a glass worm on the surface of a planet where it has, again, no business being. We have over a mile long curvilinear convex structure with these extraordinary ribs that appear to be some kind of structural support. And right in the middle, there's a brilliant sun glint and a darker shadow, indicating in the model that this is a constructed object, that maybe it's a transportation tube. And this little thing, which actually is several hundred feet wide on the scale of the photograph, is perhaps a car trapped in the middle of the tube when whatever disaster hit Mars and broke the tube at this point hit the planet. It's sometimes hard to gauge what's going on on Mars from a two-dimensional photograph, so what we did was go to one of our Enterprise mission colleagues, Chris Joseph, and ask him to submit this image to a shape from shading algorithm. What that allows us to do is to recreate a three-dimensional construction of the two-dimensional form. And what we clearly see is an undulating glass-like tunnel with a sharp break at the position of the car, continuing on down the valley, as one would expect of a greatly eroded ancient artificial structure on the planet Mars. Because this is such a controversial discovery, what we did was, like you do in any science, go to another opinion. So we got Kinsey and Fred Torres to generate a moving animated diagram of the same structure, using the same shape from shading algorithm. And what you see here is a pan around this little valley and then the tube. And if you look carefully over here, you can see that there's a definite 3D structure to this object with regular spaced ribbing high above the valley floor. So what I'm trying to say is we need to 
put some effort into making this tunnel once again rebirth here on earth and this is my version of that very same tunnel is, is it possible that we could start traveling around the country around the world at much much faster speeds and much much safer speeds with this car tunnel system in the other video he referred to it as a glass tunnel very much like what we have here and he also referred to is it possible that there was a car inside of the tunnel if these objects on Mars are thousands and thousands of years old and what we're offering here could be very well the same thing and the difference is they may have lived in a hostile environment and maybe they never actually could use their planet but we're still able to use our planet at the rate we're going with gasoline and carbon in the air and destroying our earth we may very well be stuck living in this type of a system so yeah maybe I am very advanced and I'm Greg Zanis with the dreamcar123.com project and like I asked before please try to subscribe to our YouTube videos up and coming and we're going to be making so many more videos it's going to take you hours to understand what we're talking about here there's 17 clear inventions here thank you very much